Hello and welcome to New Bedford High School here for the MIAA South quarterfinal matchup as your Braintree Womps take on the New Bedford Whalers. I'm Mike Wassel here for BCAM TV and again Braintree advancing into the second round after handily beating North Attleboro in the first round three sets to none and now we'll take on the second seeded Whalers here on the road. Big matchup for the Womps in their road blues and the Whalers in their home reds. Again, high school rules, best of five sets. And if it's decided, if it's tied after four, it'll go to a fifth set where it's played to 15 points. All the other sets will be played to 25, win by two. The Whalers getting a first round bye. And the Wumps, again, beating North Edelboro in the first round, three sets to none. So here taking on the Whalers on the road. It's going to be a very tough test for the Womps. Short serve is Russell, and now Hurley controlled. Tapped back over by the Womps. Back end, and it's in play. Not hit all that hard. But Deborah Banks able to find the back corner of the court, and the first point of this one is going to the Whalers. Again, short serve, this time it's Russell. Hurley pushes to the back end. And a good dig this time. And out of play. Off the hand of McKinney. Brantry looking for the first point. Don't want to get down too much early on in this one. Again, short serve, and it's gonna be an ace. So this is certainly a different look than Braintree's seen all season long. Probably the last thing Braintree expected was these short serves. So it's three nothing early on. And the Wombs get their first point as the Whalers aren't able to hit it over three tries. And just the way the Wombs wanted to get on the board, forcing a tough hit towards the back corner. And the Wombs failing out the Whalers early on here in set one as Kane serves. And it's tapped down by Hurley. So after the first three points go to New Bedford, the next two, two your Branchy Womps. The lead's down to one and a beautiful serve from Kane. They're gonna call a net violation against the Womps and Coach Wojciechowski not happy on the sideline. Tapped over by McNiff. And deflected out of play. Point for New Bedford. Lucio set to serve up 5-2. Much better serve. This time more used to for the Womps. And this one hit beautifully for the kill by Hurley. Five three and a good serve by McKinney. And knocked it on the net. As Gianna Haight buried that one right into the net. And Braintree's all of a sudden back within one at 5-4. Same spot this time on the serve. And this time it's gonna be in play just on the line as hitting that one nicely down the sideline was Caitlin Medeiros. Every time Braintree climbs within one, it extends back up to two and sometimes three. 
Right now it's 6-4, the home team. Hurley blocked to the net. Blocked up. And the point for New Bedford. Short serve into the net. First mistake made by New Bedford, and it's a service error. Outside hit, McKinney with a good return. And now it's Russell's first touch. And her first touch is gonna be a point for the Womps. Back within one, 7-6, and the serve for Hurley. Good serve this time from Hurley. The Womps looking to tie it up. And Brianna Hurley finds the space for the kill, and we're all nodded at seven. So Brantry getting a little bit of those jitters out early on here on the road. First three points going to New Bedford, but since then, Brantry's been on a tear of their own on a seven to four run to tie it at seven. Tapped over and nicely returned by Russell. That's blocked, and a point for Braintree. So the first lead of the ball game for Braintree, it's eight to seven here in set one. And that was not a good serve that time by Hurley. He actually went off the back of her sister Brianna. So one service error apiece. Game nodded at eight. Set up and now it's Russell. Russell off the top of the net and the point is not gonna be given yet. It's played by New Bedford and kept alive again. Push to the back end and set up for Russell, who shovels it over the net. And now it's Murphy. Returned again by the Womps. Locked to the net. And it's going to be a net violation going on New Bedford, so one apiece. Womps will be serving, and it's going to be Russell. Good serve again, returned by Murphy. And a solid hit, but what a dig by McKinney. Short tap, and Russell is going to be called for the net violation. An unfortunate one against Braintree. It looked like the point was going to go their way, and Take a two point lead instead on the violation that's knotted at nine. That's in play, and it's Murphy who gives the home team a lead again at 10 9. first time in and her first touch. And that's out of play. Point for the Womps. Back even at 10. One of the tri-captains, Kaylee Davis, pleading that one was deflected off of a Womp player, but to no avail. And it's blocked again at the net by the Womps. Setting up a double, uh, double team at the net. And gaining the point. 
to go back on top, 11-10. Good serve this time by Russell. And it's blocked at the net. Braintree point. Largest lead of the game at 2, 12 10. Tapped over and dug by McKinney. McHugh to McKinney. And it's blocked. Wants with another opportunity. It's hit over, and a point for the Wamps. Brianna with the kill. And a three-point lead, 13-10. Here in set one. Set up by McHugh. Double tap. And now hit over on the third try. Brantry pushing it right back into the middle of the court for the kill. And the Wamps shocking the Whalers early on, 14-10. The lower seeded Wamps right now with the lead over the second seeded Whalers. Popped up, and it's McKinney. She has her serve returned, and now to the middle of the space. And undecided this time by the Whalers, so the Wamps will get an opportunity. Back and forth we go, 14-10 Wamps. And the point for Davis. Deflecting off of the outstretched hands of McHugh. And certainly the player to watch for New Bedford is number 25 in red, who will be serving right now, it's Kaylee Davis. Solid serve to the back end, it's returned and out of play. So it's going to be an ace. The first one of the game. Again, a good serve, but the Wamps are ready for it. And it's popped up in the air. Three point lead for the Wamps, and that one way out of play on the miss hit by Sidney Fournier. Fifteen, twelve, and a good solid serve by Hurley. That's blocked, and another point for Braintree. Back up by four, sixteen, twelve, and if you're New Bedford, you may think about taking a timeout here. Down by four. Braintree's come out of the gates very well after a sluggish first three points, as that one deflects off the net and goes over. And the kill for Davis. So again, Davis has been a factor so far for Braintree, and Braintree's gonna wanna pick up a victory here on the road. They're gonna have to control her, just like they were able to completely take out North Attleboro's stars in the last one. And right into the net for the point as Medeiros missed hit it. Serve from Kane, knocked over by Medeiros, and played by McNiff. Good hit from Russell. Middle of the court and a sliding play by Russell, but the Wamps unable to keep it in play. He blocked at the net. And that was Gianna Haight who was able to make the play. Not very tall at the net, but able to get her hands up and cause a mistake by the Wamps. 
all of a sudden back to two at 17-15. And this time it's blocked by the Wamps and tapped to space. Hurley he gets the kill. That's what you like to see if you're Braintree. After getting blocked to the net on their own, they do the same thing. Back to New Bedford, and this time able to get the point. Go back up by three at 18-15. The serve from McKinney is good. And Madero's able to finish it off. And the ace for Maderos. Wamps can't lose their focus now here in the latter stages of set one. And we're all even at 18. Three straight points now for the Whalers and a timeout taken by the Wamps. That's just what you didn't want to see is get the Home team back in it, the crowd back in it. And now it's even at 18 here at the latter stage of set one. The Wamps boasted a 14 and six record throughout the season, which was good enough to make the playoffs and gave them a first round matchup against North Attleboro where they handily took the Rocketeers in straight sets. But certainly a much tougher challenge here today against the second seeded Whalers of North Attleboro, of, of New Bedford rather. Coming out of the timeout, it'll be a New Bedford serve. It's been a tie game. And out of play. Back on top is New Bedford. For the Whalers, and the Wamps were in very good position moments ago, and now all of a sudden down by two, 20 to 18, falling apart here in the latter stages of set number one. This is one that the Wamps are trying to steal and put themselves up early. Still far from over, but French has got to have this next point. And they don't, as Davis finishes it off. For Maderos, and Branch is going to have to utilize the final timeout here of set one. Just like that, the tide has turned. So the Wamps were up by as many as four. And are now down. Heading out of the timeout, a quick timeout taken by Coach Wojciechowski, and certainly the message has to be set that you gotta be able to return these serves. You can't allow aces, and you certainly can't allow quick points to be taken. Certainly had to expect a good start here for the home team, and that's what they've given. As Maderos has been deadly with their serves so far here in set one. 
And Russell is able to get a point back for the Womps. Just what Brightview desperately needed. Serve from Hurley. And that goes over the net on the Womp side. 23 19. Sent over. And Russell. Pass to Davis, and Davis finishes it off. And now New Bedford has set point here in set one. Davis finishes it off for the Whalers as they win the first set, 25-19. And the Womps started off very strong and led by as many as four. But then all of a sudden, the Whalers went on a seven nothing run and were able to win this one, 25-19 in the first set as the team switched sides. We're gonna take a quick break here on BCAM TV and bring you back the second set after this. Welcome back to New Bedford High School for the second set. And the Whalers beat the Womps in the first set, 25-19. I'm Mike Wassel here for BCAM TV, and it was a tough first set for the Womps to lose. They had a four-point lead midway through that first set and just unable to finish it off as the Whalers turned up the pressure and took set one, 25-19. And it's going to take a much better sustained effort for the Womps here in set two if they want to pull away a victory. Return this time by the Womps. First point will be pivotal. It's dug by the Whalers. And the point for the Womps. So much different start to set two. First point going to Braintree. New Bedford ties it at one as that lands right in front of the dive of McKinney. Blocked to the net by Hurley, and the Womps go back on top, two to one. Gonna need a lot of that here in set two. The defense of the net is gonna be pivotal for the Womps if they want to secure a victory. Their hitting has been well, but it's been the return and the defense of the net that so far has been in the favor of New Bedford. Back even at two. And a short serve into the net for the service error. Oh. 
Alternating points to start this one. The first five, three going to Braintree, two going to New Bedford. Davis, and it can't be played by McKinney. I don't know if Davis is putting a little bit extra on it, but usually McKinney pretty short-handed along the sideline. And that one's in play. Point again to the Whalers. On a little bit of a run now. Braintree desperately needed a point and they get it right there. On the kill from Russell. serve. Popped up. And a miscommunication on the Braintree side. Something that can't happen here in a playoff matchup against a higher seeded team. Push to the middle of the court. And the point for the Womps. And out of play. Point for the Whalers. Davis is served, it's returned, and now pushed over by Hurley. And blocked to the net, point for the Womps. No, now they're gonna change it. They're gonna say that Hurley was underneath the net. And a real tough call to go against Braintree. That's out of play. And New Bedford starting to gain some momentum. And now really starting to press the issue as Branch is gonna have to take a timeout. Trailing nine to five. So at stretches right now, Braintree has been impressive, but so far the Whalers have had a pretty good attack at the front of the net and have forced Braintree into some uncomfortable positions that they haven't been accustomed to over the last four or five games, if not longer. These sort of tactics, I don't know if Braintree's seen all season long. A couple of their losses against Newton North and Brookline, but really those two teams versus New Bedford here today really don't necessarily align. New Bedford's really employed a much different attack that I don't think Branch has really seen all season long. Their serves have been short, and really just the one star so far that has emerged in Callie Davis.
Although all around, the defense for the Whalers has been strong. But certainly there's weak points, and right now Braintree's found the middle of the court to be one of those spots. And right off of the timeout, it's gonna be an ace for Davis. Ten to five now, the Whalers on top, doubling up the Womps. And again, the ace off the deflection. And right now the Womps starting to fall apart a little bit here in the road. Knocked into the net by McKinney. And the Wumps have been on a slide as of late. Finally, Braintree gets a point back. As a miss hit for the Whalers. And a much needed point on the side of the team in blue in the Womps. And again, the Womps get the point. So two consecutive now for Braintree. This is a good sign pointing forward for Braintree. Gonna need a rush. Don't wanna go down two sets to none against a very talented New Bedford team. And right on cue, it's another point as Hurley with the kill. Good solid serve again, popped up. And another point on the ace. So Braintree after falling behind early, has climbed their way back, and now within three, 12-9. It's all come off the right hand of Hurley. And another point! As Bridget Hurley finishes it off, and just like that, we have a brand new ball game at 12-10. And a timeout taken by the Whalers. And Bracey certainly given New Bedford more than they could handle. Although they did win set one, 25-19. It was much closer than that score would indicate. Brentry actually led by four late in that one before New Bedford pulled away late. But here in this one now, the Womps were down by as many as seven. Now back within two at 12-10. Got to admire the effort that Braintree's put out so far, but they're gonna need a lot more if they want to pick up a win in this set and a potential upset here on the road. They've played solid, but New Bedford's played just a little bit better. And that's why the Whalers lead this set and lead the match one set to none. And in play, it's an ace for Hurley. And a very quiet crowd here at New Bedford High School. Branchy was looking for something to turn the momentum, and I think they found it. Hurley serves finally returned, and it's blocked to the net, and we're tied up at 12. The Womps have been on a serious run. That time into the net. But a good solid run at the set position. New Bedford goes back on top 13 to 12 off of the second service error for the Womps. 
But again, you'll definitely take that exchange. The Wonks were able to really rack up a lot of points whilst Hurley was serving, and it's tied up again at 13. Some solid points there from McHugh as she comes off. And Kane checks back in. And a tie game at 13. Good serve back in, and it's gonna be an ace. The Bedford actually got lucky that that one came back to a chance to hit it, because it really should have been out of play, but it took a good bounce for the home team off the backboard. And again, a good serve for the Womps. The serving has been very good here in the middle stages of set two. And it's gave the Womps the lead, 14-13. And they got to call a carry. Fourteen apiece. McNiff, and now it's Davis. Popped up and. It's McKinney, again it's Davis on the dig, and a miss hit by Davis. A rare mistake, but those are the kind of plays you're gonna need on the Braintree sidelines. Coach Ortochowski is certainly gonna take any sort of miscue that her team can be granted. Certainly Braintree the underdog in this one, and in Bedford very heavily favored. But Braintree has given him a run for the money, and now going up by two at 16-14. And Braintree has led at this exact point in the first and second set, although they lost the first set as New Bedford pulled away at the end. But right now, Braintree looking to fix what they didn't do right in the end of game one. And they give the point back on the service error at 16-15. Braintree can ill afford mistakes now. And a big mistake as Medeiros returns the favor for the Womps on the service error. So both teams, maybe a little nerve setting in. The Bedford certainly, again, the favorite team. So maybe the momentum and the nerves set in a little bit higher on their side, knowing the expectation is to win the game. And it's going to be a bad hit from New Bedford. And the Womps go up again by two. Good serve from Hurley. And the pass to Davis. And it's out of play. This is what the Womps need. Branch are trying to pull what New Bedford did in the first set and come back. And again, the point for the Wolves. They're on a tear. Branch trying to even it at one set apiece. Good serve. And it's Davis blocked. Good diving play from Russell. What a play from the Womps. And a double hit. That's really unfortunate for Braintree. That looked like a pretty solid attempt towards the net, but deemed a double hit on the far side by McNiff. Lead is four, 20 to 16. Russell blocked, and now Branchy with another opportunity. It's in the middle of the court this time for Medeiros. Davis popped up. Russell into the net. Two straight now for the Whalers, 2017. Branchy can't afford these little runs by New Bedford here in the late stage of set two. 
Got to take this next point if you're Braintree. McNiff, middle of the court. Back end. And now Kane to Russell. Popped up. And pushed over. And now bumped. And on the wrong side of the court for the point for the Whalers. Back to within two. Braintree now must have this point. Up by two still, but momentum's starting to swing a little bit. Got to get the point. And Russell does! Can't rely every time on your stars at the front of the net if you're the Womps. Got to get it from everybody. And right there, Russell showed she has just as strong as a hit up front and maybe planted a little seed of doubt in the mind of the Whalers. And into the net, point for the Womps. As they're pulling within three points of a victory here in set two. Trying to nod it at one set apiece. Trying to steal the second set. Davis blocked, hit it again, the point for the Womps. And a timeout taken by New Bedford. As the Womps have taken the lead late here in set two and are two points away from securing a victory here in set two. Braintree certainly played much stronger and a much better sustained effort from Braintree after falling behind early and actually fell behind by as many points as seven at 12 to five early in this one. But since then, Braintree's gone on a run of their own and right now, turning the tide, if Braintree's able to pull away a victory here, it's a brand new best of three set, and it'll be a 1-1 match between Braintree and New Bedford. If you joined us late, Braintree lost a tough one, 25-19 in the first set, and won the Womps were controlling for most of that beginning to middle of that first set, but then New Bedford able to cruise away at the end. Helped out with a few mistakes by Braintree, but right now the Womps trying to get one back. And they're two points away from getting it. 23-18. The serve is good. And Davis right to McKinney, who digs it nicely. Russell, and set up. Played again by the Womps, tapped over by Donahoe. To Davis, and a good dig by Russell. And a point for the Whalers. That was a good exchange back and forth. The Womps would have done well to take that, but tough point to give up. And now the lead is four, 23 to 19. Short hit by Hurley, it's the point. And now it's set point for the Womps. Looking to tie it at one. A lot of nervous faces here in the crowd, knowing their team in trouble. 24-19 and Braintree looking to secure the victory here in set two. And they won't secure it yet. The lead back to four, 24-20, set point again. And only would it be fitting for New Bedford to make a mistake in their key player in Kaylee Davis. She's not gonna make one on that attempt. And it's popped up by McHugh. And finished off by Hurley. As the Womps win set two, 25-20 and tied at one set apiece here on the road. As the Womps pick up a much needed victory and now make it a winner of best of three. That fifth set 
would be up to 15 if it gets to that point. And right now, this one has that make where it could go the full distance to five sets. But Braintree securing the victory 25-20 in set two. And a much different ball game heading into the third set as the team's going to switch sides. We'll take the break here and bring you back the third set with New Bedford and Braintree nodded at one apiece. Lazy bones, loping through the day, you always seem to find the easy way, moving like you roll the way. Never heard a word I say. All over America, entire families are backsliding. We're no longer just sedentary, we're stationary. And that's bad news for your bones. At any age, bones need weight-bearing activity to grow strong and stay strong. So go outside, take the steps, play with the dog. Just get up, get out, get moving. Never keep your bones that way. Never heard a word I say. A public service message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Hello and welcome back to New Bedford High School, set three, ready to begin with Braintree and New Bedford tied at one apiece. The Womps winning set two, 25 to 20, to even at one set apiece after losing 25-19 in set one. I'm Mike Wassel here for BCAM TV, and right now, a very stunned crowd. Braintree's given New Bedford all they can handle through the first two sets. Braintree very well could be up two sets to none. And by that same token, probably could be down two sets to none either. So both teams probably taking one they probably shouldn't have had. So we're even at one. But Branch has been in both games and had the lead in both. Now looking to finish off and take a lead here in the third set. First point goes to New Bedford. Here in set one, uh, set three. And serving is Sydney Fournier. Short serve, returned by Hurley. Now McKinney, and a beautiful hit from McKinney. Goes out of play. Deflection off of New Bedford. One to one. Seventh seeded Womps facing the second seeded Whalers. And blocked to the net, point four to the Womps. That was the combo of McNiff and Hurley he at the net who got the job done and unable to get the job done was Gianna Haight for the Whalers. Good serve and it is going to be an ace as Braintree rallies off three straight. Three to one Womps. Wops need to continue their serving. It's been very strong. Tapped over by Hurley. And a net violation against the Whalers. That's four straight now. First four out of five going to the Wamps. Nice play from Russell. McKinney, back end. Now it's Davis. And Madero's popped up. Beautiful play from Russell. Middle of the court now. And returned on the dig. McKinney, it's returned. Kane sets up Hurley. Hurley short and over the net for the point. That's five consecutive now for Braintree after the first point went to the Whalers. Good dig. And a point for the Wolves off of the effort. Rolling across the net. And Braintree, six of the first seven at six to one. Leading here at set three. 
head coach Neil Macedo saying to find a way. And right now the Wamps have found answers. Blocked at the net. And finally the run is halted. But not a bad run at six consecutive. And now it's a six to two lead for the Wamps with New Bedford serving. The left-handed serve is an ace. That's what you can't have if you're Braintree. You can't afford to give up three points. Everything's got to be returned if you're Braintree. And swatted over, but a net violation. Plenty of extension on that hit. But Gianna Haight was well under the net. And a big point going to Braintree, 7-2. McKinney serve is good, and it's an ace. Right off the arm extended of Fournier. And a lot of unforced errors that New Bedford really not accustomed to. Again, they had the bye in the first round, so Braintree's played. Maybe a little bit of a break has hurt the Whalers. It's tapped over by Medeiros. And Russell gets the point. Just like that, it's 9-2. Not much crowd noise now as Branch is taking the crowd right out of it. Again, serve is good for McKinney. Middle of the court, easily played by Russell. Hurley heats to the back end, where it's Doug. And Davis, beautiful return. And blocked to the net. This time it was Haight who was able to get the point. And a short serve and a very big mistake by Maderos putting the Wamps in double digits with 10. Again, a 1-1 game between Braintree and New Bedford, but Braintree comfortably on top here in set three. And a very stunned crowd. Good serve is good again. And Davis is blocked. Now Davis tapped over. And the set for Russell out of play. Just out of bounds. To make it 10-5. Russell with the kill. So Russell mistimed her last hit, this time perfect on the back end. So Branchy looking to pull off the upset here on the road in the quarterfinals of the MIAA self. As this one's luckily tapped over, New Bedford got a break. And right off the face of Davis. And a sliding play from Russell to keep it alive. Davis blocked. But the point going to the Whalers. And a point that Braintree thought they were gonna get. Doesn't go their way. That one actually went off the face of Davis. Who was able to come back and make a play. Eleven six. Russell gets the point. Serve is good again. And a double hit and an unforced error. And not much celebration going on here at New Bedford High School. 
as they see their second seeded Whalers starting to lose it a little bit here. Locked at the net. And blocked again! It's Hurley! 14 6. Short serve from Russell. Not the best hit from the Whalers. They're lucky to get it over on three. McKinney's blocked, and it's returned. Davis is blocked at the net, and it's punched over by Hurley. And the point to the Wamps. 15 6. And a timeout taken by New Bedford. Coach Neil Macedo can't believe it. Down by nine here in set three in a 1 1 set. Here in the third set. One game apiece. And Braintree looking to pull off a monumental upset here in the quarterfinals of the MIAA South playoffs. And right now, Coach Orzechowski has found a good groove with her kids and has been able to find a way to kind of slow the momentum for New Bedford after French really gave away the first set. So coming out of the timeout, Braintree certainly riding the energy and well in hand right now. 15 to 6. New Bedford may be a little rattled here at home. Certainly didn't expect a playoff run to end in the first round for them as they got a bye in the first round, but Braintree looking to certainly plant some doubt. And there's the point again on the kill from Hurley. So even after the timeout, nothing changes. Another point for the Wamps. Lead is 10, 16 to 6. Short serve and a good diving play. And that's hit out of play. And even Davis making mistakes out there for North New Bedford. 17 6. Short serve again. And this time a little too short as Russell with the service error. So Braintree pulling a little bit of what New Bedford did in the first set, which was serving short, and it started to cause some problems. Big possession now, it's blocked, but out of play. And the point is New Bedford's. Seventeen to eight. Davis with the ace. And that's the way New Bedford's gonna get back in it. That's their star. Good diving play from McKinney, but she goes underneath the net and that's two straight aces. To make it 17-10. And the Wamps need to stop this little bit of a run and it all starts with the return and that's just what Russell does a little miscommunication but the Whalers get it over on the third try set up from Donahoe and killed by Hurley eighteen to ten the Wamps up by eight. That's out of play, just barely. And it's a service error for the Wamps. A couple service errors here in the third set for Braintree. So far, six on the evening. Donahoe's blocked, but Braintree able to force it over. And it's hit over by Banks. Donahoe 
left side of the court. Tap back and back and forth we go. Good volley. McHugh sets up Perlehy. Perlehy is going to be hit. A call to the double hit. New Bedford creeping back into it. It's 18 12. Frazier needs New Bedford to start making some more mistakes because it's starting to gain some momentum on their side of the court. But like, just like that, it's Russell who gets the kill. And a substitution checking in. Actually, two substitutions checking in for the Wamps. As McNiff and Kane come in, and Kane will serve. Her serves have been good all game. And just like that, it's another one. Madero's out of play. And the Wamps five points away from securing a victory here in set three and looking to gain that pivotal two set to one advantage. Good serve again from Kane. Madero's way out of play and that's two straight miss hits from Madero's and momentum majorly on the side of the Wamps. And you can see Macedo, Coach Macedo trying to calm Madero's down. He's, and just like that, the Wamps get another ace. Stunning the crowd here in New Bedford. Three points away from set point. Madero's, this time it's in play. And set up by Kane to McKinney. And the return from Madero's is blocked. And it's point for the Wamps. Kane again, set to serve. Since she's come on, the Wamps haven't given up a point yet. Blocked once, and a good dig. Branchy able to force it over. Middle of the court, it's McKinney. McKinney miss hits it. And the bleeding finally stopped as it's 23-13. Branchy well in hand, up by 10. Many mistakes made here in the latter stages of set three by the Whalers. And Braintree looking to take advantage. And a good return as Hurley he tried to finish it. And getting the point back is New Bedford. So it looked like the Wamps were going to pull within one of the victory. And just like that, New Bedford able to get one back and make it a little bit closer. And a carry. This time it's Hurley. 23 15. French giving up a few points. And that's a big, crucial mistake as Lucio knocks it into the net and puts Braintree on the brink of taking a 2 to 1 set lead. Here on the road, 24 to 15. Set point. Gets over, off the hit from McKinney. And there is the win for the Wamps in set three. 25-15, Braintree wins set three. And now they have a chance to pull off a monumental upset here on the road as the team switch sides and will take a break here with Braintree one set away from taking this one here on the road and moving on to the semifinals of the MIAA South Divisional Playoffs. We'll take a quick break here on BCAM TV and bring you back the fourth set with Braintree a chance to win it. Stay with us. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. 
You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. Hello and welcome back to New Bedford High School. Braintree on the brink of moving on to the semifinals, up two sets to one after pulling a 25-15 win in set three in a very convincing fashion. And now the number two seeded Whalers on the verge of a monumental upset here on their home court. A team that was primed for a big run in this year's tournament could have a first round exit here in the quarterfinals after getting a first round bye. Frantry had to beat North Edelboro and handled them easily three sets to none. And now here in the fourth set, the Womps trying to finish it off. First point of set four goes to the Whalers. Again, if New Bedford does win set four, it'll go to a fifth set, which will be played to 15. But right now, Brantry doesn't want to even think about a fifth set. They want to finish the job right now. It's tapped over by Kane. And a late call from the official well after the point was already, should have been granted. But either way, New Bedford gets the call and they go up 2 nothing. Braintree desperately needs a point. And they get it right there. It's Hurley. Two to one, New Bedford, and McKinney serving. And it's out of play. Short serve. And Russell. Tap back over by Hurley Heath. Back end. Russell gets the kill. Right in front of Medeiros. And it's 3-2. With the home team with the advantage right now. And you expect New Bedford to give Braintree all they can handle here in the fourth set. Knowing that a loss of a set here would be a victory for Braintree. As Davis with the kill. Kane sets up Russell. Russell able to return it. And it's blocked, but out of play. Point to New Bedford, 5-2 early here in set four. So this one's starting much differently here in set four. Right, you're needing a point now. Back end, McKinney sets it up now. It's Russell, and it's returned off the dig. And the kill from Davis. Right, you may want to think about a timeout early here in set four, down six to two. Russell gets the job done this time to stop a little bit of the bleeding and make it 6-3. Branch is going to bring on a few subs. Here as Donahoe and McNiff check on. Or rather Donahoe and McHugh and McHugh will serve. Russell pushes it over. 
and Davis blocked. Two straight for the Womp, 6-4. Solid serve from McHugh. Easily played. And now set up for Herlihy, who's blocked. And a double hit for the Wamps. Branchers in pretty good position there to get an offensive attack on the court, but knocked right into the net. And a short serve and a service error made by Kaylin Mello, her first time in the game. Now five service errors for New Bedford and a good return off the dig from Russell. Russell sliding play, the Wamps keep it alive. What an effort from Braintree. Blocked to the net. And Braintree gets the point. What a momentum shift that is. Maybe the one play the Womps needed. And the point back to the Whalers as they go back on top by two, eight to six. But again, back to that sliding play from Russell all over the court able to play it off the net, and the Womps able to hit it over in three tries. Gain a big point, otherwise, this could be a four or even a five point lead for the Whalers. Donahoe taps it over, and now set up for Hurley. Very close to a double hit. Back end, and popped up by Davis. Davis, that is deflected. Off of the Wamps, it's 9-6. An unfortunate break there for Braintree. And Davis will serve. Russell does well to control it. And Hurley does even better to send it over. Braintree could use the point. And they're not going to get it. On the double hit by McHugh, 10 to 6. Braintree down by four. And this is where Braintree needs to slow the rush down. As that one's out of play, and a big mistake. Both teams now, even with service errors, at six. And it's a 10 7 game. Hurley, he was the difference in that second set with her serves, and she does it again. Two straight for the Wamps, it's 10-8. If there's one thing that Branch has done well, it's been their serves, and it's been Brianna Hurley, he who has been a major factor, although right there, she knocks it right into the net. Eleven eight, the home team on top for the time being. McKinney now to McHugh, and it's Hurley. Hurley with the kill. Right in front of the star, Davis. The branch be back the closest they've been in a while at two. At 11-9. Kane, middle of the court. Solid serve. Tapped up by Kane. And McKinney goes to the opposite side where it's returned. And Davis with the kill. So just when Braintree was trying to find some sort of groove in the middle of the court, Davis has gone to the opposite side. And that's created havoc for Braintree. It is 12-9. Every time Braintree closes within a few. As the point is granted 
to New Bedford is an incidental collision between Herlihy and McNiff as both players were obviously going for the volleyball. The lead's back to four. Braintree needs to stop it, 13-9. And they can't. It's 14-9, and Braintree's gonna utilize their first timeout here of the fourth set. Talked about this one had the look of going five and going the distance. And right now, New Bedford in a position to put themselves in a position to take this one to five sets with Braintree trailing 13 to nine. Here in the fourth set, and coming out of the timeout, the Wamps are gonna have to try and slow it down and slow the attack of the Whalers. The Wamps have done a good job for the majority of this one, utilizing the outsides of the court. But here in this fourth set, New Bedford's found a few weak spots in the middle of the court, and it's resulted in a few aces and a few mistakes by the Wamps. Something that Braintree didn't do in the second and third game where they won. But again, Braintree lost the first set 25-19, but came up with two convincing wins to follow that up 25-20 and 25-15. Now trail in this fourth set coming out of the timeout in a must-win point for Braintree. Davis in play. The lead is six, 15-9. Braintree has to have a few points as that one is mishit and out of play. And that's one way to get one back. Seven service errors apiece. Good serve from McKinney. McKinney now to Kane. And push to the back end and off the tips of Davis. So Braintree with two straight to cut it to four at 15-11. Not going away quietly in the Wamps. They know this one's theirs to take. Blocked at the net. And not knocked over on the third try. A good effort from Braintree, but unable to return it. And it goes back to five. So every time Braintree pulls within four, it seems to balloon back up. Back end, it's played. And right into the net. Sixteen twelve. Braintree would do well to have an ace on this serve. It's in the middle of the court. And it's Davis who fires it into the net. Leads down to three. So Braintree gets a point right off the serve and again. Pulling within three, they need to keep the momentum going. 16-13. Same spot on the serve. Davis, it's dug by Russell. Now back to Russell. Middle of the court, and a collision. But still able to tap it over on the third try. Right again, off the outstretched arms, and played over. Back and forth we go. Harley in the middle of the court, and it's returned. And Davis with a good return from McKinney. Pop straight up and off the stanchions and out of play. Point for the Womp. So the home field disadvantage that time as that one was nicely dug but hit off the stanchion above the court and Braintree within two. As close as they've been in a while at 16-14. And it started with the surge from the Wamps. McKinney has done well again. And this is a point for the Wamps to take. Right on the cue. 
It's Hurley. He, she's blocked and returned over. And the point for the Whalers. That was a tough exchange for Braintree. Had a few chances to pull within one. And now it's back up to three. So a two-point swing. Braintree just couldn't get the hit that they wanted. But both ways, there were some good digs to keep both plays alive as 17-14. Pushed over by Kane. Davis dug by Hurley. Back end and set up for the push of Lucio. Davis blocked. Still on the New Bedford side, blocked twice. The Womps get the point. What an effort all around. Got to give credit to New Bedford. They didn't give up. And Braintree almost prematurely celebrated, but able to pull within two. And this is where Braintree's been. Now you got to pull within one. Keep it going if you're the Wamps. McHugh's serve is good. Very close to the back line, but no chances taken by the Whalers. Russell looking to cut it to one. And she does! It's 17-16. And Braintree storm back. Wumps trailed by as many as six. And now it's one. Davis mishits it. And we're tied at 17. Surprised not to see a timeout by New Bedford. Things falling apart again. And it's all started with Braintree serving. 17 up. Blocked at the net. And tapped to the back end and played by Lucio. That was going to go out of play. And a big mistake as Braintree goes on top for the first time here in the fourth set, 18-17. newfound set of hope for the Womps. As that one's out of play, and we're tied at 18 on the service error from McHugh. Right now the Whalers looking to play everything and very nearly played that one even though it was out of play. Womps certainly could use a point and they won't get it as that one goes into the Braintree bench. Back on top, New Bedford 19-18. Braintree keeping the effort out there. Haven't given up on any plays here today. Braintree looking to tie it. And a double hit against Hurley. That's a tough call to go against the Womps. 2018, here in the latter stages of set four. Win by two. Branchy has given up three straight points to going on top for the first time. Blocked at the net. And returned by McKinney. Now it's Russell. And the Womps can't get the point. As that one's in play. Right in front of Hurley. That is a monumental point. A two point swing. Could have been out of play 2019. Instead it's 21 18. Got to have a point now for Braintree. And they get it with a beautiful kill from Russell. A nail biter here in the fourth set. This is the closest one we've seen all game long. Short serve and an ace for Russell. It's back to one.
Five aces in the game for the Wamps. 21-20. Wamps trying to tie it. Medeiros, and now set up by McHugh, right into the middle of the court. And dug nicely by McHugh. Back end, set up for Medeiros. And returned, but punched right back over by the Wamps. And out of play, we're tied at 21. The Wamps have done well dealing with adversity here today. And this one is heated at 21-21. Davis blocks, but getting the point. Again, this one up to 25, win by two. 22-21. Branchy trying to steal the fourth set and finish it off. Set up by McHugh. And it's McKinney into the net. Big mistake by the Wamps. And Coach Orzachewski's going to take a timeout as her team trails by two, 23-21, with two points to go, potentially, here in the fourth set. Again, you got to win by two, so if Branchy's able to pull within one, this one could advance past 25. We could be headed into extra time or into a potential fifth set. Braintree has come out of their timeout. New Bedford's still in theirs. Still 25 seconds left on the timeout clock with a 23-21 advantage to the Whalers. The team in red leading the team in blue in the Wamps. And right now, if you're a Braintree fan, you've got to expect that New Bedford's going to try and get the kill here. I don't want to see a, a Wamp team finish them off on their home court. You've got to expect that New Bedford would try and finish it off and not let Braintree make this one go the distance. As Braintree gets the point to make it 23-22. The Wamps do not want to see a fifth set. 23-22. The serve from Hurley, he is out of play. The Wamps can't afford mistakes like that. Set point for New Bedford. Brantry has to have this, or it's all over. And we're gonna head to a fifth set. Hurley he keeps it alive. Four twenty-three set point again. Brentry has to have it to keep it alive. Miss hit by the Whalers. Brentry trying to tie it. Back end set up. It's Davis and it's out of play. And we're gonna go to a fifth set. Twenty-five, twenty-three. The Whalers win the fourth set. So Braintree's gonna go to that decisive fifth set. They've seen time and time again this year. This time, trying to pull it off. We're gonna take a quick break and bring you back the fifth set. It's gonna be played to 15 in a tie game, tied at two between Braintree and New Bedford. 
Stay with us here on BCAM TV. Trisha's having a sleepover tonight. Can I go? I wonder about Lucy's friends. What should I say? I know you're only 10, but one of these days a friend will offer you a drink. And alcohol at your age can lead to so many things. None of them good. So can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. I finished my homework. <laughs> Bigger promise. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? Sure. Really? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Hello and welcome back to New Bedford High School for the fifth and decisive set. This one's going to be played up to 15. Braintree and New Bedford tied at two sets apiece. I'm Mike Wassel here for BCAM TV and this one had the making of going the distance and right now it's going the distance. Here in the quarterfinals of the MIAA Division I South playoff matchup. New Bedford serves to start off the fifth set. And the first point goes to New Bedford on the ace. Again, up to 15 here in the fifth set. So Braintree can't afford to fall behind. And it's 2 0. New Bedford. Braintree's got to do a better job communicating on the court. Momentum all on the side of the Whalers. Got to find a way to slow it down. McKinney. And it is out of bounds again. 3 0 Whalers. Braintree not starting off this one the way you'd want to finish the job off in the quarterfinals. Need a first point. And a double hit on the Womps is 4 0. This is the last thing you expected to see. As close as this one's been, Braintree can't give it away now. And out of play, a big mistake from Davis. Gives Braintree a sense of hope, making it four to one. That's all Braintree needs is a little rum. They've come back all game long. Good serve from Kane. Time to string some points together for the Womps. Blocked by Hurley and set up. Middle of the court. Set up again from Hurley to McKinney. Medeiros. And in play by Medeiros, left side of the court. It's 5 1. The seven seated Womps trail 5 1 to the second seated Whalers here in the fifth and final set here in this contest. Hurley he it's out of play. Six one, Whalers lead. Braintree has to start to find a way to string together some points. Their only point has come off of a miss hit on the serve from the Whalers. And that's killed at the net. Big point for the Womps. Gonna need a lot more of that. And it's gonna take a valiant effort. Everybody in the court right now has gotta put their body on the line, knowing that moving on is gonna take an extreme effort from the Womps. Tapped over by Hurley. It's back to three, six, three.
So Bridget Hurley, he has found a way to get two straight points from Raintree, and it's all of a sudden 6-3. And it's 6-4 on the double hit from the Whalers. So it's been a game of runs. An unbelievable contest here in the quarterfinals. 6-4. Good serve. And set up from McHugh to Russell. Russell, middle of the court, set up by Davis. Davis off the net and a sliding play by Russell. Short side this time. And Madero's into the net. It's a one point game, 6 5. Braintree not going away quietly. It was as much as a six to one deficit. Now it is tied. Actually, it's a six to five game. Pushed ahead and sent over by McNiff and a crucial double hit called against the Womps. That's been a problem spot for Braintree all game long. And it's really an unfortunate rule in volleyball, but the call goes the way of the Whalers. And punched over by McHugh. Medeiros is short, and she's made a few crucial mistakes here in the fifth set. Two times she's hit it right into the net. It's 7-6, six, six. Womps within one. Not sure why the official stopped it, but Hurley will be serving. 7 6. And a good serve. Davis has it dug and sent over by Hurley. Middle of the court, played by Russell. It's got to be tapped over, and it is by Hurley. 7 6. Whalers make it seven apiece. A lot of unforced mistakes by the Whalers after going up by six. It's seven apiece. It's been a game of runs here in the fifth set. Momentum on the Womp side. Good serve. Started up. Russell in play! Point for the Womps. That's a big call. And a timeout taken. Actually, no, they're going to switch sides at the midpoint here of the fifth set with Braintree leading 8 7. Braintree doesn't want to stop anything right now. They don't want to keep the flow going, knowing momentum is on their side. 8 7 Womps. Teams have switched sides, and Braintree will serve. Looking to advance to the semifinals with a victory here. And a, a violation on the serve on Hurley. -Hee. I can't believe it. I can't believe that call. It's an 8-8 game. Knocked over by the Wongs. And knocked up. McKinney to Russell. Middle of the court. Now looking for a mistake from the Whalers. They don't get it, but it's returned back to Russell. And Russell, middle of the court, back and forth we go. And a point for the Whalers to go back on top, 9-8. As Haight was able to advance over the net. Medeiros with a good serve. And Hurley with the kill. Back at nine, we're even. McNiff will serve. And a knotted game at nine. The serve is good. 
out of play, and a big mistake by Davis. It's 10-9 Wamps. Unbelievable game. Service good again. Davis, middle of the court, diving play and kept alive by Russell. Shortly hit over by Hurley. Davis off the arm of Hurley Heat and on the Womp court. Tied at 10. Once to 15. And that's out of play. Lucio. Eleven ten Womps. This one's to 15. Win by two. And a 2-2 two -two set. And a double hit. Braintree's three points away from a major upset. And a timeout by New Bedford with the Womps on top, 12-10. Both teams with one timeout in the overtime session. The fifth and final set. So New Bedford won the first set, 25-19. Braintree followed it off with two straight wins of 25-20, 25 and 15. And then in the fourth set, New Bedford forced a fifth set with a 25-23 win and a back and forth affair. And this one has that same build at 12-10 here in the fifth set. The winner of this one really deserves the quarterfinal spot, which would be against the winner of Oliver Ames. And the 11th seeded As this one's tapped over and the point going to New Bedford. The 11th seeded Marshfield Rams would be the 11th seed. So the winner of this would play the winner of that matchup in the semifinals. But right now at hand, it's a 12-11 game and a serve for New Bedford. It's in play. And a double hit on McHugh. Major, major mistake by Braintree. It's tied at 12. Unbelievable game. Back and forth, we've gone. Frenchie's has got to have a point. And they can't, it's an ace. And the Whalers are two points away from a win here at home, and it's a timeout taken by Braintree. An unbelievable exchange out of that timeout. Braintree led 12-10. New Bedford called the timeout and rallied off three straight and now lead 13 to 12. And now Braintree's timeout is taken. And they know that this one is in the balance. Got to have a point here out of the timeout if you're Braintree. Can't afford to fall behind by two, knowing that the set point would be right on cue. This will be a devastating loss for the Womps, who've played so well here today. And at times have been a much better team than New Bedford. But there's a, re there's a reason why New Bedford's seeded number two. And right now, they want to show the Womps why they're that team. They want to show them they're better. And right now, Braintree's got to find an answer on this serve. It's 13-12 out of the timeout. Very nearly out of play. And it is out of play as Davis with a major miscue. It's 13 apiece. And now Braintree with the advantage and the serve. Braintree would really do well for an ace here. Middle of the court, diving play by the Womps. And it's on the Womps side of the court. It's 
match point. And if you are New Bedford, this is the person you want to take it. And Branchy's gonna call a timeout, maybe to try and ice Davis. New Bedford can feel the next round right here. Davis has been strong for the majority of this one, and her serves have been very good. Braintree's first priority is gonna have to be to position themselves on the court and get ready for a serve, which right now has been going, the way she served it has been going to the vicinity of where Russell and Hurley have been at this point right now. So that's where she's gone for the majority of her serves, right in the middle of the court to the back end. So if you're Braintree, you gotta assume that's where they're gonna go. But right now, if you are New Bedford, the last thing you can afford is a service error. Braintree's fought back, trailing by as many as five at six to one. But now it's 14-13 and Braintree has to have this point or this one is over and New Bedford will advance. Game on the line. 14-13 as the crowd starts to rev up. A sale of subs. Fourteen, thirteen, off the top of the net, and returned by the Womps. Got to have it. Locked and out of play. It's the point for the Womps. It's tied at fourteen. And the advantage again in hand for Braintree with the serve. Serving has been well for Braintree all game. McHugh's got to have it over, and she does. Good hit from McKinney who gets it over. Medeiros played up and the pass. And tapped over, back end. Davis makes it a one point game. 15-14 and again. New Bedford can finish off Braintree. 15-14, win by two. Got to have the point if you're a Womp. The crowd getting into it would force Braintree into a point. And that's it! New Bedford wins 16-14. An unbelievable game here at New Bedford High School is that one just in play. An incredible effort from the Braintree Womps as New Bedford survives here at home on an unbelievable effort from the Braintree Womps. The seventh seeded Braintree Womps gave New Bedford all they could handle here at home and New Bedford comes alive when it counts most and pulls off a big win here at home in a game Braintree could have won, but New Bedford just too much at the clutch stage in that fifth set. Just when Braintree thought they had it, Braintree couldn't pull off the advantage in that fifth set and never actually led in the fifth set. Actually led one point, they led nine to eight but it was quickly erased by New Bedford, and New Bedford pulls away with a two-point win, eking out a win here at home in the quarterfinals, and they'll now advance to the semifinals, and they'll face Oliver Ames or Marshfield in the winner of that one. But the season has been cut short for the Womps. Just when it looked like Braintree was gonna pull off the upset here on the road, they fall in five sets and a tough, tough loss as they lost set one, 19, to 25, pulling off set two and three, 25, 20, and 25, 15, before losing 23, 25 in set four and 16, 14 in the fifth and decisive set. For the final time here 
at New Bedford High School, the Branch U Wumps lose three sets to two in an unbelievable game here in the semifinals, or the quarterfinals rather, of the MIA South sectional. For the final time here, for Christine Patterson, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next year.